What's up guys, welcome back to another FIFA Ultimate Team video. Today we are looking at the brand new Flashback Miranda SBC in celebration of his Atletico Madrid side title win in the 2013-2014 season. He's a 91 rated centre back and let's see exactly what he has to offer in game for us. He is 6 foot 1 which is quite nice for a central defender in terms of height. He's got medium attack, high defence work rates which is very very good. It's not the best one in this category you're looking for a high defense low attack but still it's very good nonetheless skill moves are two stars not great by any stretch of the imagination however he's a central defender i doubt you're going to be doing five star skills all the time he's also got a weak foot of three stars which is okay it's passable but still not very good in itself either in terms of his actual attributes his pace for a central defender is very very nice sprint speed 83 acceleration is 78 very good shooting stats wise probably not interested in anything here because you're likelihood of you taking a shot with him is very minimal passing stats really excellent short pass of 92 long pass of 90 is good and his vision is 76 probably one of the higher vision ratings for a central defender as well which is very nice to see too dribbling stats wise fantastic dribbling stats across the board reaction of 98 ball control 87 dribbling of 82 and composure 99 really really top tier stuff right there for a central defender while his agility and balance look low on the surface is 17 and 75 for central defenders, that is actually really, really good stats there. So all in all, fantastic dribbling stats for this Miranda card. In terms of his defensive stats oh just insane 93 interceptions 87 heading accuracy 93 defensive awareness stand tackle 93 slide tackle 90 just brilliant across the board and the same physically that jumping a 99 strength of 95 aggression of 99 just fantastic stats to see indeed stamina 73 in my book is a little bit low however as a central defender it's probably not going to be the end of the world because the likelihood of him bombing up and down the pitch is minimal all in all, i got to say, as soon as you whack on a defensive chem style, he is going to be a game-ending centre-back for sure. He's going to be hitting like at least, he's going to hit like pretty much 99s in all his defensive categories. And it's dependent on which chem style you want to use, which will uh, determine how good of a centre-back he's going to be. And we will get into that shortly. But let's have a look and see exactly what you need to do in order to obtain this particular card you need to present a brazil player with an 84 rated team 80 chemistry you're looking at a jumbo premium goal pack in return and then an 85 rated squad 75 chemistry with a prime mixed players pack in return you know what i actually like the squads you've got to turn in here it's nothing too excessive and you're getting a 91 rated center back in return i think that's pretty good going you know uh currently that is coming in according to fitbin at this moment in time it's around about the 150k mark liquid coins which i think is pretty decent value um considering the card itself now let's talk about the chem stars that i was touching on earlier i think for me personally the best chem star to use on this particular card is going to be a shadow the reason i say a shadow is it gives him top tier defensive stats you're looking at really really high 90s on each category yeah 99s 98s across the board heading accuracy only becomes 92 but heading is not really the be all or end all within this particular game uh, but the big boost in pace seeing have 93 acceleration and 93 sprint speed which just means he is going to be rapid chasing people down and with the agility and balance the way it is at present he's going to feel relatively light uh, within game two the other one that i would consider putting on if you're looking for something else would probably be a guardian now the reason i say guardian is that he sees a nice little boost in agility making him even quicker when turning he also gets improved ball control and dribbling but the main thing here is that all his defensive stats are maxed out at 99 again heading accuracy only becomes a 92 there are potentially other ones you may want to consider using the only other one that i probably would recommend is an anchor however the drawback with the anchor is because his physicality stats of jumping and aggression already topped out at 99 he only gets a plus four on strength so to me my mind seems a little bit of a waste however his defensive stats are all high 90s you're looking at defensive awareness and stand tackle and slide tackle all at 99 heading actually goes up to a 97 and his interceptions become a 98 he also sees a nice little boost in pace as well with a sprint speed of 88 and acceleration of 83 too so there are a lot of different chem styles that you could use with this guy in order to get the best possible outcome to make him that pretty much game ending defender now i think there's one more thing that i'm gonna have to touch on with this particular card and that is he is obviously from the csl which sucks however 
He is Brazilian, and there have been so many cards out this season, special cards especially, that are Brazilians, that you could link this guy up to, and he would make a fantastic addition to any sort of Brazilian base squad that you may be able to acquire or already have built up. You're looking at the likes of Team of the Year, Alisson in goal. You're looking at either like a Juan Jesus or a Diego Carlos wrote to the final card that could be his central defensive partner. You're looking at like flashback Marcel. Marcelo, uh, left back card. You're also looking at uh, Marcelo's shapeshifter card. You've got Paulinho's flashback card as well. You've also got that most recent Hulk SBC that came out too. So there are a lot of really fantastic cards that you can link this Miranda up to. So all in all, I think for 150k liquid, you have quids in, especially if you've got one of those sort of squads. Nice real Brazilian, nice real kind of like mix of icons or potentially to help get this guy up to that 10 chemistry needed to give him the best possible stats within game anyway guys in terms of me actually completing this sbc i am unfortunately not in that luxury position in of having those sort of players around him to make him just fantastic so i am probably going to pass up on this sbc but i would definitely recommend to you guys if you do have that capability you do have that squad already assembled by all means complete the sbc i think it's going to be well worth your time anyway guys please leave your comments below let me know what you think of this miranda card obviously you can tell i'm pretty hyped about it unfortunately i'm not going to be able to do it and Please also remember to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and until next time guys, I'll check you out. Laters.